What's up channel? Today we're at the BC Overlanding Rally in uh, Whistler, British Columbia. We're walking around checking out people's rigs. Hey guys, I'm with Ken with Off Grid Trailers. And uh, Ken, you're gonna take us around, and show us both your trailers. Yeah. yeah so, All right. Thanks for yeah, having hey, us. Hey, awesome. This is the Pando 2.0. Okay. Uh, and then this is a traditional teardrop style rear galley. Uh, you got a queen size bed in there. Tons of storage up top. Can I shelves. turn on some lights there, real quick? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... Oh, look at that! You you got a TV in here? TV. Come that's not an option. Settle down, Ken. What are you? <laughs> wow. LED lights. Nice. Uh, two oversized doors, four inch mattress. Uh, all the trailers are all metal, zero wood. So nothing, they're wrought. When you hand it like that, uh, you can step on these fenders. 400 pounds of weight can stand up on these, deal with what you got up on, on top. Put a stove here, I guess, even if you wanted to. If, or... if you want, but we've got a stove in the back. Oh, okay, let's go check so that right out. The back is the galley. So you have a slide drawer that has your Dometic stove. Over here, you have your Dometic sink. Love it. All folds down. And then you got tons of storage. So while I was waiting to talk to you, I was kind of just sneaking You're around looking at stuff. Yeah, 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 I was snooping. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where yeah. you found these All, latch systems, yeah. but listen to that positive click. <laughs> I don't know if that's just a me thing, but I love it, it's how positive it is. It's not rinky dinky. It's just, yeah. you know, like it just feels like it's oh, and built is, to last. And like I said, it's all aluminum. So it's not going to rot. It's not going to have a water dam damage or anything like that over time. I always think about these like an Airstream. Airstreams have been on the road since 70% of them since the 30s on. Right. The only thing that rotted was the wood on the inside. The aluminum and everything else was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's what, that's what we're looking at here. And so same storage on this side. So you got four of these and then you got your pull up pantry. And your countertop, so storage, storage, pantry, storage, storage, storage sink. sink. This is your. You got a tank here and a tank down here for a total of 33 gallons of water. Wow. Uh, on this, Great. you got a 57 liter Dometic fridge. All right. And with this model, you have the option. You just got to latch that. Oh, okay. Satisfying click. Yes. Yes, indeed. 57 liter fridge on and then the great thing with this one you in the front you have an option for a second fridge which is the Dometic 60 liter fridge that lifts off from the top okay so that's that's on a slide all right so pretty cool there yeah and then underneath this guy fold this down you have storage for pots pans whatever you want mm. so lots tons of storage optional stereo as you see the door up top we custom make this so there's a trough where all the water runs down oh drips down, drips that's down the bottom Optional That's speed speakers, LED lights. Oh, great. And one of the coolest things. I like this. So at yeah. nighttime, this is all lit oh, yeah. up. You're cooking yeah. and, yeah. I don't know, spinning. You got sound. You got music. Yeah, you put you your got... turntables out, out there and <laughs> go to town. I like it. On this side, uh, we got some snacks. Uh, you got your on-demand hot water shower. Oh, yes, yes. So <laughs> this is amazing. You know, two seconds, you have hot water. Hot water gets pumped to the sink. So if we're doing dishes, you don't have to mm. throw water to clean stuff. Great. Uh, so that's awesome. On the other side here, we have two deep cycle marine batteries. Okay. And a thousand watt inverter. This one has the, actually the 1,750 watt inverter, but it comes with, with a thousand watt inverter. Right. Kill, kill switch, more storage up top. You want to put whatever you want, port a pot potty, yeah. uh, gear, whatever you want. Optional storage bin up top. Comes with the roof rack, which is super heavy duty. Yeah, you yeah, look at it, that. But anywhere from what we have, a rooftop tent or bikes, kayaks, canoe. So if you've got four or five people in a tent up there, that's going to hold it, no problem? Yep. Mm, okay, yep. great. So uh, again, what's the name of this? Uh, this is the this Pando. This is the Pando 2.0. Pa Pando, Pando 2.0. This one over here is the Expedition. Now the Expedition basically has all the same stuff that this guy has, but the kitchen's on the on the side, and this one has a 50 degree rear departure angle. That one is 29 degrees, so it's still more than like the ZR2 that we have is mm -hmm. a 23 degree okay. departure angle. So this still has more, but this one you have that really nice cutout pro profile. Right. Let me get a shot of that yeah. side profile there. So yeah. back here is your rear storage, pan, pantry, pots, pans, whatever you want. Okay. It's all aluminum again. You have screws here that you loosen and you can adjust this at any point. Love you it. want to take one out and put two wolf packs from Front Runner, for example. Yeah. Two of those will fit in here perfect. That okay. was designed to fit those. These screws, you undo these, this plate comes off and you can service your water pump is right here. Oh, great. On the inside of this profile. Your water tank is 31 gallons of water. Mm. Sits upright across this whole thing. 
when you fill it up, it takes 40 pounds of roughly of 40 pounds of tongue weight off your tongue weight. 40 pounds of weight off your tongue. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> has a rear um, and uh, receiver. I noticed you got jacks in there or stabilizers. These are, st are yeah stabilizers. Okay. And it's timber and axle. Uh, axleless suspension on both. Okay. So you have 21 inches of ground clearance front to back. And That's it's a lot. And it's a four inch steel C channel frame. Okay. So really beefy powder coat coated and everything else above it is. Above Any it. idea what one of these trailers weighs? This is 1800 pounds dry. That's 2300 pounds dry. 1823. Okay. Yeah. And this one also has the shower on this side like the other guy. Okay. But this one the difference is your kitchen's on the, on the side. Here. So very cool. We make this in house. We have a little tab that closes that up. Huh. You get to your cam, you open that up, pull this little rubber tab, pull this down, and you're set up with your stove and your sink, and you're ready to go. When you're cooking here, you can fold that down. Okay. Prep area. Prep area on your steps there. Storage stuff here, you can walk right up these steps as well. And this one, again, has the queen size bed inside. Uh, same storage. Yeah. And then this one, the fridge that comes with it is the Dometic fridge in the front with the slide. And this guy slides out. Now I didn't see that on the Pando 2.0. This one, yeah. This Did one I... actually the option to have the second fridge on the Pando is that oh. fridge. Oh, so you have okay. the 57 liter fridge in the back and the option for this 60 liter fridge in the front. So, so far I like the Pando 2.0. Why is that? I really like... <laughs> I mean, this is just me, but I really like this setup here. Oh yeah, I like how yeah. I don't know. I just like how, I like this um, this surface area. Yeah, and it just feels a little more uh, a cleaner, more and it's logical all, all in one area. Yeah. So the big thing is is there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah. How you want to camp is how you know what works for for you, right? Yeah, but yeah. I do like the departure angle on the other, on the other yeah. one. You know what the one thing that I say about this guy here, this is awesome uh, for a traditional teardrop style. Yeah. Where this guy, with everything on the side, personally, when I go to camp, yeah. I usually park with the fire pit here. So then when you're camping, you're still kind of part of everyone and you're talking. Right. Where this one, you'd sort of be a, around back. Doesn't mean you can't position that, you know, at an angle, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But, this is how I traditionally kind of set set up. That's that, right? yeah. So it's all like yeah. That's a really good depends, point, right? right? Because you know it's it's like when you're home, at the house. Where does everybody want to hang out in the kitchen? The kitchen, yeah. <laughs> but this one has an awesome kitchen that's all confined in the back, and it's all in one spot. Yeah. But if you look at that with the counter space, you pretty much have the same counter space between these two as you do on that top. Yeah. So when you look at it's just how I know, do you but want you got to put it? things. Where are you putting things? Here, 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 here. here. Yeah, but that, then you're oh, there's a pot and a pan there and some salt and pepper now no, no, oh, oh no actually well the other thing is sometimes you have a foldable ta table which will actually fit on the side of the fridge when it's in right you could put bring on a table out here along the yeah. side yeah okay yeah right. and this has just a different profile look you know it depends what you're looking for it does it does yeah. and you know again it has the same roof rack um, optional upgraded max fan comes with the max fan either way oh, okay. but this is the upgraded one that you can keep up in rain or has the remote right we all love re remotes, right? Yeah. And then you got your front bin, which is a bin that goes on top of this box. That's an option. That's great. Uh, but that adds your storage. Put yeah. firewood, whatever you want. Up, oh, up yeah, right? There, right? Yeah, yeah, firewood, even like, a spare tire. Well, yeah. I guess you can put a spare tire up there. Well, the yeah. spare tire is actually mounted right at the front. Yeah. And it has a max coupler articulating hitch. Oh, yeah, the articulating hitch. Which is key. Is, it, is that a custom wraps. I was just going to say, okay. is that a custom wrap? This is an awesome thing. So this is one of the wraps we have as yeah. a sta standard free. Yeah. 19 wraps, I believe. Right now it's, we're at 19 that you could choose from. You want a custom wrap, it's only 400 bucks. So we could do a wads up custom wrap. Exactly. <laughs> Four, 400, 400 bucks yeah. to wrap it and we'll never use that design ever again. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, well, absolutely. I already have the custom wrap to share with you. We could just continue it. And this would look good behind that floor bed. I think, I think right. <laughs> All right, we'll talk. Right. Came back to Ken's setup here. What, like 45 minutes later? Yeah, 45 minutes later because I noticed you've got a new addition to my trailer. Yeah. Thank you for that. To your trailer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll have it ready for you at the Yeah, yeah, show. thanks. <laughs> so uh, since you were here, we went from the Darchi 180 awning to the brand new 230 270 awning. I like that. Which this one covers around the back 
and it allows us still to open up this rear door. Perfect. So and it still has the option to put on walls and stuff like that. But we literally took off the old one, put this one on in a matter of uh, 15 minutes. Right. Yeah. So just a quick observation, while it has optional poles, right now you don't have any pool poles down, so it's yeah. just completely yeah. open. So if, if I've had too many drinks, I don't have to worry you about hitting you anything. Yeah, you're not gonna hit right? That never happens, <laughs> ever. Just saying though, but you can still take down this pole here. Yeah, and, How many? and one there. So two poles, one, two. Yeah. Okay. So that's just, you know, in, in the event that you have any strong winds. We also have tie, tie down points I, here. I was just gonna say. And you'll see here at, on the other vehicle, we have a rope being tied down. So it's raining. So as it's collecting pools of water, it's coming here and it's running right off. There's no poles set up. It's just a nice clean yeah. setup. So these are brand new, available in Canada and the States. Peregrine yeah, awning like, like 270. The, like the bird. Okay. Yeah. Love it. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for doing awesome. that for me. Thanks for stopping by, Ken. See you guys later.